Be very good to speak to you. Hopefully we will speak to you again soon. Seha Tariq, Sana Ejaz, thank you both very much. Another day, another scandal surrounding President Trump. This time it is a tape secretly recorded by his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, discussing with the then-candidate Trump a payoff over an alleged affair with a Playboy model. But there's debate about what's actually said on the tape and what it means. Have a listen. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So I'll pay okay. no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. Well, that followed a week in which he was heavily criticised, even by Republicans, over comments that Mr Trump made in the news conference with Russia's President Putin. Despite all this, President Trump's support in the polls remains at about 45% overall, with satisfaction amongst his core supporters remaining high. Joining me from Nutley in New Jersey is Steve Rogers. He's chairman of the group America Winning Coalition and on the advisory board for Donald Trump's 2020 re-election campaign. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, Mr. Rogers. What was your reaction on hearing that tape? Well, it seems to me that the president was actually uh, trying to steer things in a legal direction if it was to be done, but there was never any payment. And uh, I've got to tell you, uh, at the end of the day, and this may not come out the way I want it to come out, but the American people don't care about that stuff. They care about other things, their quality of life, the fact that our taxes are, have been lowered, there's more money in our pockets, the economy is booming, and on and on and on. So as the mainstream media in this country continues to create narratives that are anti-Trump, the, the president's popularity is growing and, and growing rather significantly. What, why do you think uh, personal moral conduct is not an issue that affects the way people vote? Well, you, you know what? I think all of us around the world, perhaps even you uh, uh, in the UK, uh, we kind of uh, realize that our political leaders are not pure. Uh, they're not saints. They're, uh, we've become numb to these uh, reports. Obviously, we do want uh, 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 elected officials with uh, great moral turpitude and who do a tremendous job with regard to their personal life. But we have really discovered that we're all human and what does the Bible say? Who has not sinned, let him cast the first stone. If you discover that there were lies or there was payment with this case or any other case, do you think that would affect either your view of Mr. Trump as, as a, for re-election or those of his other supporters? I don't think it'll affect uh, any of his supporters' view, and it won't uh, affect my view. Uh, unless he committed an egregious crime that would hurt this country, I believe that uh, uh, as he continues to keep his promises, as he continues to uh, make this economy grow and keep America first, that his poll numbers are going to continue to crime, uh, okay. climb. Does, keep... does, does, um, does his relationship with Mr. Putin and the, the very complex investigation into that, does that potentially uh, you know, come in that category? Uh, look, here's a reality check with the Trump-Putin summit. Uh, we know full well that we as a nation will have to deal with Russia in the future. That's an emerging threat. The president is setting the stage to negotiate across from a table with Putin rather than to fight Russia on a battlefield. President Obama in 2016 ran into the same issue with regard to meddling. And when the media asked Obama why he did not shame or challenge Russia publicly, you know what Obama said? He said, it's be counterproductive. Uh, I've got to negotiate with this guy in the future. So President Trump did nothing different than President Obama did. The only difference is, is that the mainstream media here does not like President Trump. OK, Steve Rogers, very good to speak to you. Thank you very much for your time. My pleasure being with you. Thank you. Much more to come here on Global. The latest research showing signs of water on Mars.